Did you know platypuses and snails are venomous? I'm a journalist who covers biodiversity and in a previous video, I spoke about how in the animal world, toxins can be used for predators or for preys. And so they tend to be slightly different types of toxins. Think frogs trying to avoid being eaten or think snakes trying to paralyze their prey. But the toxic world is a little bit more nuanced. For example, the Australian platypus often engages in male on male combat to win over mating competition. During their feuds, the male platypus deploys a tiny prick on its back legs and jabs it into their competitor to prick them with a potent venom and debilitate its opposition through pain. Cone snails are venomous too. And what makes them special isn't just that they are unexpectedly lethal for snails, but they have evolved extremely sophisticated ways to inject the venom. They don't have stingers and they don't bite. Instead, they have a proboscis through which they shoot venomous arrows like harpoons, even over a pretty large distance to paralyze their prey. It's part of the tongue, but it's become weaponized into a harpoon. 